Hi guys, my name is Noshia and welcome to learn MVC. Okay. So, this is our 14th lecture and 14th lab and this is my 14th video. So in this video, we will look at uh, how to use a form collections object in ASP.NET MVC. And what is the purpose to use the form collection object in ASP.NET MVC? So it's very simple. Let's I have created one project here. Look at here, form collection example, right? Uh, in this example, I have created one uh, data access layer class, and I have connected with the entity framework. You can see here, and just uh, mapping with the table, and just pass the one hash key for the customers entity, right? So this is very simple, and I have already explained in my previous videos how to use entity framework in ASP.NET. You see, so now you can see here in my model folder, I have created one customer class. And in that customer class, I have property of the my table. Right? Customer ID, customer name, customer address, customer contact number, and email address. You can see here, right? Now just close. And after that, you can see here the view model class is there. And I have already explained in my previous video why I required to use a view model. So you can see here in the customer model, I have two properties. One is customer objects, and other is list of customers. You can see here. Now I'm just going to close okay i'm just coming in the customer control and in the customer control i have an action in the name of index and in that index customer sorry in that index action i have a created object object of the customer model class and the other object of the dial class and after that i have fetched the data you can see here data access layer object dot customers dot to list so i get all details of the customers and the store in the customers list in the customer model class right and pass to the customer model because the load customer i have made a, a just strongly type of view. you can see here this is strongly type of view right customer model you can see okay after that you can see the load of customers CSS HTML views i have created one table here you can see here table class table hover customer name customer address contact number email address and after that i have created one for each condition here and uh, pass the all data row by row you can see here right okay now the save and in the footer panel, panel of footer i have created one button the button name is uh, add customer and when i click on add customer that time i need to call the customer and the control name is customer and the action name is create okay so we'll do later this one but first we will run the this ap application and we'll see what is the output is there You can see here customer details. The my customers row one row is there, right? Customer name and this contact number email address. And I have created one button here, add customer. When I click on add customer, that time is called the customers dot create, right? And I have already created that form. You can see here for the add customer. You can see. Right, customer name, customer address, contact number, email address, and save it. Uh, oops, this is CU name. So I just close and I'm just good with the add customer here. This is my form, you can see here. This is nothing, this is a form method post action. When I click on the set save data button, that time I need to call the create action also. And uh, this is the customer name and the uh, control name is txt name txt address txt contact number and txt email address right okay after that the inside the on the bottom side i have one button the name of button is btn submit and the value of button is save data okay now just save the details and uh, i'm just going to customer controller class when i call the create action that time it's display the add customer form right so when i click on save data button that time i need to call also one action here so action result and uh, my action name is also created here so. <coughs> create and this is my 
by city post i'll explain you little and i have already explained in my previous video what is the use of city post and uh, you can see here i explain in, in the short you can go to the add customer and you can see the form tag here method is post right so whenever you require to post a data when you require to send a data that time you need to be the user method post when you require to get a data that time you need to be the use a get right and when i click on save data button that time i need to call the customer dot create so here the create two action is there one is the create here and the other is the std post create so when i click on save data button that time they call a std post create right okay after that here you can see here i am using a form collections object here this is our main motto to use uh, to make this video and to do that that lecture actually so i'm using here for a i'm using here form collection of this right so now we are coming in main point what is the use of form collections okay so you can see i i'll explain you so form collection is a nothing but of collection of keys collection of keys which keys when i send a data with the http request that time they hold a keys of the request data what is the meaning of that so you can see here i'll explain you i have a five control here one text name text address text contact number text email address and the btn subject right so i have five control so this is the my key name text name text address text contact number text email address and btn submit this is my key name and form collection the hold the value of the text box the five control value short in short five control value the text name control value text address control value contact number control value email address control value and the same way button submit value okay so we'll we'll do the practical so it's very easy to understand i have created one for each condition here for each you can see the string variable as tr or you can put here key in my form collection object is frm right so you can pass here frm dot you can get all keys this is the property so sorry okay now on the side here is form dot right and uh, right here the message the key name is and you can pass the key name here so i'm just pass the string variable here key the space and the value of key is i'm just passing the value so when you require to pass the value you can call a foreign object square bracket you can pass the key this is normally this is basically collection actually okay after that i need to be passed and break here the response dot right i'm so sorry response dot right and then you can write here one correct that's done and here you can return a view i need to the right that all contain in my add customer list that's simple and you can return this view in at the outside of the for each condition i'll just put big point here and i'll show you and that's the that's run the application customer and the create okay i'm just put here the speed the data here no shot customer as this is mumbai and the contact number you can put anything Click on save data. You 
can see here the hit on the break point this is the all keys collection this is our string 5 5 collection is there text the name address contact number email address and pt and submit ok now I'm just continue and you can see here you can see here the key name is txt name key name is txt address the name is the contact number email address and submit and the value of the key is nosha the mumbai contact number email address and the name of the button right so now so now you can understand here the form collection is nothing but a collection of the keys which is send a request which is send a request on HTTP right so whenever a click on save data whenever I click on any button this is uh, yeah, uh, uh, and suppose I say in simple language this is the collection of the form posted data this is the collection of the form posted data in simple way so I just comment this code and we are coming in the real scenario and uh, I need to the get a data from the form collection and store in the database store in the database so in the simple way I'm just going to the here just create the object of the customer model not, not a customer model just create the object of the customer class here customer uh, for the using the customer class we need to be the add the one reference here model reference you can see here the models underscore customer okay o customer dot you can enter the name customer name is equal to right this is the my frm this is my form collection objects and you can pass the name of the keys so my name of the keys is you can see in the add customer.css file txt name just copy that one you can paste it that's it in the same way customer dot customer address is equal to frm txt Just cross check. Make the name the same or not? Okay, I'm satisfied. So underscore customer dot customer contact number. FRM. You can pass the name of the contact number controls. So you can pass here. And the last one is customer email address. Right after that, you can create the object of the dial data access layer. That's simple, and the dial object dot customers dot add object and the pass the object name here and uh, the save in the table. In the save changes method, right? After that, I need to call the action name of index here. So, basically, the index action will display a data of the customers. So, return redirect to action and the pass name of the action. That's simple, right? So, now I'm just going to the internet explorer and just run that application uh, customer index Some issue in my JavaScript uh, file, so we'll check later. 
now complete the module just click on add customer and here you can put the name of customer and like just put the Martin the address is <coughs> contact number you can enter anything contact number and email address Just click on save it. Okay, they hit on the breakpoint. You can see here name, address, contact number, blah blah blah. Right, so just continue and they load the customer. Continue, you can see here the data is already. Added, right? If you want to see an SQL server, this is also possible. I'll show you. Just run, open the SQL server here. Just connect, and my database name is MVC Test. MVC Test. Here, this table open the customer. Okay. Right, it is already added. Okay, so I hope you understand how to use a form collection and why are required to use the form collection and what is the purpose to use the form collection, right. So here you can see, I have create one code here. That's code. This one you can see here. This one code. FRM takes a name. I need to pass the takes a name, takes a address, takes a contact number. Takes a name. This is a very boring code actually. This is a very boring code. So how to ignore that code? This one. Which one? How to ignore this code in ASP dot MVC when I when I enter a data from the database? So uh, this one we'll see in the, my next video how to ignore this code. How to ignore this code with using a model binder. Thank you very much for the watching this video.